Okay, Bolo Buddies, I bought a Dibble Box. A Dibble Box is a reseller box. And I purchased it from YouTuber Donatella Bottolino. And she actually came up with the Dibble Box. And a Dibble Box is a Dibble bit of this and a Dibble bit of that. So it's, it's a reseller box. And you know what you're getting because she is showing the items at her YouTube auction and then you bid. And sometimes she does buy it now and other, there's other options also. So definitely check out her channel. But this was an auction item and I got in a bidding war and I paid $110 and you guys know how cheap I am. So I'm excited to show you what I got. I ended up listing every single item so that I can show you the breakdown. I can show you the numbers of what I listed things for. Now, can I show you solds on my items yet? No, because they haven't sold. I do have a bid on one item though. So let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, we are going to start with the unboxing. I have asked Moonstone Mamas to give us a few um, tips on some of the jewelry items that are in my box. So you will see some inserts from her, which is fantastic. Please go follow Moonstone Mamas. And I'm also going to wait until the end of the video to show you how I listed everything. So let's unbox it first. Okay. So again, there are two different orders in here because I had her round up. So, maybe. Let me get it unwrapped and then I'll come back to you, okay? Actually, maybe I can just like do the fast forward thing. Okay. Tape off. Alright, so I'm guessing this top one is the my little jewelry box. Um, like I said, it was 110. I told her to round up to 150. So this is an additional $40 worth of jewelry that I'm gonna open in a different video. So we will definitely come back to that. Okay. So, this here is my Dibble Box, if I can get it open. You know what I was just thinking, if I fast forward, it's going to be me talking really fast. So that probably won't work. It's in a cute little box here. And she's got the box saran wrap. <laughs> she loves her saran wrap. I promise I'm going to get this open. Okay. So let's see what I got. I got a cute box. Okay. And like I said, I'm very curious to see what all I got because I don't remember. And, um, okay. So I do remember these. These are like little, um, uh, they're, they're vintage pens. So this one says astronaut breakfast game. Is that like, oh, I don't even have it in front of there. Can you guys see it? So I, I'm going to look some of these up and maybe I'll be able to post, um, some comparables. I can't tell if that's like, and then this one, so I don't know what these are. They are definitely vintage because you see how the pin sticks over and it's really, really easy to uh, poke yourself. But it's a whole, um, a whole little uh, box full of those. So we'll look those up. Um, some more little pins and I'll have to do some research on what those are. Let me get my scissors out of here. What is, whoa, there's some, I, I don't remember some of this stuff. So this says three metal belts. So I can sell those individually. 
I should probably take them out, but I don't want the video to be crazy long. I have no idea what this is. But, um, it says tree. I don't know what these are. Huh. But they say Zingo. So, I'm going to have to look these up. I don't know if it's some sort of game. I don't know if it's part of a game, but I do sell replacement pieces. So, if it's part of a game, I'm sure I can, uh... I'm sure I can sell it. So we'll look that up. This is a Ninja Turtle. And if you guys were watching the show that night, this is his um, thingy, Donna called it. It's his um, belt. <laughs> I'm like, Donna, it's a belt. It's just a belt. And I'm not sure, I've, I don't know. I'm gonna look him up. But I, you guys know I love to sell toys, so I will definitely be listing him. Okay, let's see. These are, um, they look to be, I have no idea what these are. Huh, that's odd. Anybody know what these are? Huh, they move like this. Oh, are they um, cufflinks? Huh, so I'll have to look those up. I don't see any markings or anything, but I'll have to definitely check those out. I've never seen them where they're kind of curved like that. So maybe, um, maybe they're really old or maybe they're for women. Maybe they're cufflinks for women. That oh, hey there. Let's talk about cufflinks. Cufflinks are tools to help fasten the cuff portion of a shirt. They're alternative to buttons. The most common ones that you're gonna find are either whale tail cufflinks or bullet back cufflinks. What you have here are button return cufflinks. They do not move. They are two stationary objects in between a curve. Meant to be a little bit looser than your traditional chain cufflink or whatnot. Uh, they can vary in price depending on if they're in semi-precious metal or if they have a maker's mark on them. Good luck! Could be. Um, here's some more cuff links. Those are definitely men's. A 120th 14 karat gold stamp on jewelry usually indicates that the jewelry piece is gold filled. When it's 1 20th, it means one part of that piece is gold to the other 20 pieces of materials. So basically, if it says GF, it's gold filled. GP is gold plated. Um, five main mood rings. Okay. I don't know what that means. Let's look. Um, so maybe... Do you wear them and they tell, like, change colors? Oh, um, hmm, does this, I don't know, I'll have to look into those also. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is look into some of this stuff and then let you guys know as I go through the video what I find out. Um, this is a, <laughs> it's like a little broomstick, it's so cute. I remember this and it says made in Japan and you guys know that I love made in Japan. It's a little broomstick. So, you know, it's old made in Japan right there. So I think this is probably porcelain if I had to guess, but, um, I don't know. I think it's cute. I think I can make some money on that. So remember I paid 110 for the entire box. Okay. So, I don't know if these are like, again, I saw part of the box. I did not see all of it, but I, I saw enough that I was willing to, to bid on it up to 110. Um, that says 925 right there. So are these like little, these all say 925. They're like little charms with letters on them. Huh. Those are interesting. Wouldn't it be nice if that was real gold? So yeah, those are marked 925. So 
that's the initial items in the jewelry world are definitely a bolo to look out for. These are marked on the back 925 and they're also stamped by the maker, which is the WP. Definitely would list these between 18 to $24. Awesome find. Seems good to me. Pretty excited about those. I'm gonna dig a little deeper. Check those out. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's see, what is this? These are, they look like pins. I see a, right here's a Disney. It's a Mark Disney, it's a Mickey Mouse. So I know I can definitely sell these. This one says TNT. Um, so a lot of these I'm gonna have to look up. That's just a little flag, costume. I actually, um, I think I just listed one of these. Let me move this box. I feel like it might be giving me some. Um, let's see, this one says Embrace Hope. And it says on the back, I'm not sure what it says, uh, a little angel. So there's a whole bag of pins here. So I can figure out if they're worth listing separately, which I will definitely list the Disney one separate. Um, here's a little pumpkin. I'm trying to figure out, it might, I can't tell, is it missing a jewel or is it just how it's shaped? It might be how it's shaped. So I'm definitely gonna look that guy up. I always like selling Halloween. Oh, look how cute this is. It's a little um, a ballerina. Is she missing? Nope, there it is. So it's a little, um, I think it's a ballerina. Whoa. And it looks like it might be marked. I can't tell 100%, so I'll look that up. This looks like it might be like a political pen. I'll have to look that one up. And that one is September 11th. Okay, so those are the pens. Let's see what this is. Uh-oh, it looks like it might have broke. I should be able to just glue this back in. Yeah, I mean, it just needs, um, it probably just got shifted around during shipment. So I should be able to put that right back on. Oh, it's a belt buckle. And I don't know if that's a symbol for something. I don't, oh, it's got a duck. Oh, it's a duck. Hmm, does anybody know what that duck is? So I'm gonna look that up and I'll have to glue that back on and that should be okay once I glue it on. That's not a big deal. Um, some keychains. And Donna sells keychains, um, like big, big boxes full of keychains at her auction. And they just vary. I know uh, Kat the Nurse Flipper bought a box off of her and did a video on it. I'm trying to see what this says. It's like pulls out um water palace it looks like maybe what is this um is this like a little tape oh it's a nail file gross <laughs> it's advertising but yuck somebody's nails you guys know how i am about that stuff so another little keychain this is a little lock it looks vintage i'll look that up because Sometimes those old locks can um, have some value. Unfortunately, I don't see a key. All right. We have, um, yeah, I'm not gonna touch these because I think they're like belly button piercings and I wanna clean those before I touch them. Um, I'm not, uh, Donna, did you put this in here to play a joke on me? Cause she knows I get so grossed out about stuff like this. I don't remember, um, like piercings. I'm like, it's been in somebody's skin. I'm not sure what this ginormous one is. I, I don't think somebody stuck that through their belly button. Uh, <laughs> certainly not. I have no idea guys. Does anybody know what that is? So it looks like this goes on the other end. And those are piercings, but I don't know what you would pierce with that thing, so. Body jewelry can be a bread and butter item. This particular item is an industrial piercing, which is the long bar, usually an inch and a half long. 
Um, definitely clean it with alcohol if you get it from a lot, uh, but these can definitely sell. Just as often as you change your earrings, people with body piercings want to change theirs as well. I'd list it anywhere between uh, 8 to $10. Yeah, we'll come back to that another time. All right, so we have another bag of goodies here. Let's see what's in this one. So what Donna does is she gets stuff from like storage units. Um, she buys stuff off of dealers. Uh, she used to own a thrift store, so she has a lot of really, really great connections, people that contact her when they need to just move inventory. So, um, she always has great stuff. Now, one thing Donna does not do a great job of is looking stuff up before she sells it. And a lot of times people get really, really great deals. So this is like a matching set. And um, it says porcelain stone, um, handmade in the USA. So I don't know if these are vintage or not, but made in the USA, I mean, they don't look vintage, like the chain doesn't look vintage at all. So, um, but they are made in the USA. So I will definitely give those a try. Don't overlook vintage sets, especially if you can find the matching pendant and earrings. A bigger plus is the fact that they were made in the United States. USA made jewelry sells well. Okay, let's keep moving on here. Okay, so this next thing, I have no idea what this is. Yeah! Oh, its arm is like dangling. Um, it's missing its other arm. I Maybe it's in the bag. Maybe it's not. Something just up with, oh. This might be hanging out in the garage. It's kind of creepy. Um, I don't, maybe, is it bisque? Do its eyes, ah! Do, 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 do. Are you guys freaking out? Um, it looks like somebody wrote on its face. So I'm, I'm, I'm not real sure if that's a, a winner. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Um, what is this? It says Barden Drug Company. So it looks like it's a really old, um, prescription maybe? Look at that. How, uh, purity accuracy. And it's like an old prescription pharmacy bottle. How weird is that, you guys? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. Okay. Um... These look like money clips. Uh, this one is actually a, it says Africa, Casino, uh, Naples. So it's some sort of uh, casino bracelet. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. These are um, money clips. And again, I will have to look them up because I have no idea. But this is a lot of stuff. This is a, a napkin ring. Um, it says JFK, actually. The initials JFK, I do believe. Um, yeah. Maybe it's a big, nice chunk of silver. Um, I... I can't see what it says in there. Let me see, let me get my loop and see if I can read. It says something on the inside. It says E-P-B, whatever that means. And the initials are J-F-K. So I'll look into that a little more later. I think it's a napkin ring. Uh, this is just like a, um, I think it's a medical bracelet. This is just a little trinket box. And, and it says something on the inside. I'll have to get my loop back out for that, but I don't want to hold you guys up. So it's like a little trinket box. This is 
I don't know what this is. A candle holder? I don't know. Um, glasses. And these are um, they say hold on, I gotta get my loop. Costa Del Mar. I'm not familiar with that brand, but I am not like fancy. So, um, they say Japan. So I'm going to have to look those up, but Donna, her dad used to, um, I think he was, a is it an optometrist? Is that somebody who works with eyes and glasses? I think that's what he was. So she knows a lot about eyeglasses and she does, um, boxes full of eyeglasses that she sells at her auctions. So this is a vintage um, pillowcase and it's Walt Disney Productions and it's a uh, Dumbo and it's super, super cute. And yeah, somebody will definitely want that. You guys see it? How cute is that? I mean, I should be able to get what? I don't know, I need to look it up. I don't wanna tell you guys what I should be able to get until I look it up. So I will look that up. I'm still wondering where the arm of that thing is. Okay, so this is a really old, um, it's an alarm, handcraft? I don't know. Um, I'll have my husband look at that. He likes old stuff like this, but yeah, interesting. And then this one is the same thing. It's like a, um, I can't, what does that say? Let me see if I can get my loop. Ingram, maybe? Ingram? My eyes are getting so bad. So, and these are very, very old. They do, you know, have some, show some wear. Uh-oh. Okay, we got some spoons. <gasps> Ooh, I love the detail on this one. Look at that. So I have a guy who makes me, um, he made me some mermaid necklaces and this is something he would use to make a, uh, a beautiful uh, piece of jewelry out of. And I'll have to look it up. I'm guessing it's silver plate, but I'll have to look it up. It's still a neat, neat piece. This one, I don't know what it is. It's some souvenir thing, I think. And this one, is that Shirley Temple maybe? I don't know, I can't tell. So I will reach out to um, him. He may be interested in this one too because it's got the little, little girl. He may be able to make a ring out of it. So definitely very cool. All right, I don't know what this is. Um, it's the box is a little bit broken. Um, it says Chromagan Decor, no clue. So I'll just have to look that one up. No idea, that's it. Unfortunately, the box got, I don't know if it was like that or if that happened in transit. So we got this Mickey, it's a piggy bank and it does have the plug, so that is good. Um, trying to see if it has a date, I don't see a date. It's definitely vintage, but it needs a good wipe down. Dust is always free at the auctions. That's what they say. Okay, so got that little piggy bank. Um, I have no idea. Oh, it's Apple something. I don't know, does anybody know what on earth this is? Oh, it's got a little switch. I don't know what it is, huh? Anybody know what that is? All right, I have some costume jewelry here. Um, there's a couple necklaces. I don't know. It doesn't feel like any, it's not cold, so it's probably, I don't think it's anything fancy. A little 
other necklace. I'll have to untangle those. Um, oh, look what I found. The other arm. So I'll have to put that back together. And this is a little um, necklace, like a little four leaf clover. Mm, a little brooch. Um, let me see if I can get my loop and see what that says. Uh, I think it's Premier Designs. So it's just a little costume, cheap brooch. I was hoping maybe it'd be something good, but. When looking at brooches and different pendants, looking for a maker's mark is super important. On this particular brooch, you have an oval maker's mark with the top having a crown on it. That usually is Premier Designs. Because this is a signed brooch, I would list this brooch anywhere between $12 to $18. Um. This is a Tweety Bird tag. So that's cute. Tweety Bird, it's got the little case. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh yes, I remember this. I'm like, that is so weird. So more than likely I have, I'm not certain. Oh, it's a pin but it's broken. Okay, that's not a big deal. I'm just gonna glue it back on. Um, it just came off. But I don't know if that's, it feels like real fur and it's just like one of those weird things that I will price, I'll price this high. And I think this will be my bolo of the, um, of the box. I know that sounds crazy, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a vintage. I don't know if it's like one of a kind um, handmade. I, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna, um, it's so funny, isn't it? I just love it. I love like unique um, stuff like that. So, and it's really, you can tell it's old. So I think that's a winner. Here's another uh, clock, I think can't get it open. Oh my goodness, what am I doing wrong? Oh, there's a button. Okay, so this one says made in Germany. It says Seth Thomas, I think. Let me look. Seth Thomas and it's jeweled Germany. So again, um, my husband really likes stuff like this. So I will give this to him to take a look at. It's a pretty neat old piece. Um, I don't know anything about it, but um, pretty neat. So uh, this is a Karma Beads, Lucky Karma Beads, Empowerment and Wisdom. And let's see if there's anything hiding in the bottom of the box. Nope. All right, that's it guys. So I'm gonna look up some of these things and I'll be back. Okay, so I had a total of 44 listings out of this box and the breakdown came to about $2.50 per listing. Now there was a Ninja Turtle that I couldn't get to function properly. So I'm just gonna throw that in a mystery toy box there were two belts that I donated because they were kind of tarnished. And I think there was um, a pin, like a little pin that you put on your shirt that I donated because it was it needed cleaned up and I didn't want to um, do that. And I think pretty much I listed everything else. I tried to list everything, um, but those few items I decided to pass on. So the first item, which is super, super cool, is um, this pharmacy pill bottle. And I do have this auction style starting at $34.99. Now, if that does not sell on auction, I will increase the price, put it at a buy it now or best offer. So what I typically do with my auctions is I will start them at the minimum I am willing to take. 
I may even list that at like 50 or $60 or best offer. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm going to do a little more research, but I would like to at least get $34.99 because it's such a rare item. Okay, so these are um, money clips, and I'm starting them at $24.99 each. And then again, if they do not sell, I will just increase the price and put best offer on it. Not a big deal. I do it all the time with my auctions. I'm not one of those people that starts my auction at 99 cents or a low price. I start it at what I would like to get out of it minimum, like the minimum price. So this is a belt buckle. And this is the one that I had to repair, which is no big deal. You can't even tell. I could not figure out the brand. It has like a duck head on the back, but I couldn't find any comps. So I'm just going to try $19.99 on this. The little um, pumpkin is also a best, um, I'm sorry, an auction. And if you guys want to know how I get this white background, um, I do use a light box, but there is a filter that I use to get it completely white like this. And I do have a video on that and I will try to remember to link it. So there's the, the napkin ring. So I have th that on auction. Now this item right here, I did, I have it on um, auction or best offer. And somebody did send me an offer of $18. I um, did not take it. And I am just going to write out the auction. So right now it is currently at $14.99. So I paid $110 for everything. And I've already got one item that has a bid for $14.99. At the very end of the video, I'm going to tell you what everything adds up to and what I expect to make on this box. So we will get to that. Um, so this little pin. And if you guys see anything you're interested in, Feel free to make me an offer. Everything has a make offer button. And just put um, with the offer, Bolo Buddies in the comment section of the offer. And I'm happy to take a look at that. And that goes for any of my items. You guys are always welcome to um, make offers. Now, this one was just like a hodgepodge assortment. And I just called it a junk drawer lot because it's a mixed lot of miscellaneous things that I didn't want to list individually. So I just put those all together. I was getting lazy. Um, this is the Tweety Bird. And then these are the cufflinks. Now these are all still auction style. Now this is a buy it now or best offer. And remember it comes to about $2.50 per listing. So some of the items are bread and butter but again, I did try to list every single item in some format. Here's one of the belts. And I told you that I donated two of the belts. They had a little bit of plate wear, and I just didn't want to risk the chance of getting a return. But this silver one is great. So um, here's a little bracelet. So these are all buy it now or best offer. So I'm just going to scroll through and let you see my pricing um, a lot of people are selling these individually, so I didn't want to compete with that. So I went ahead and sold mine in small lots, or I'm selling mine in small lots. I also need to get them on Mercari and Poshmark. I have not done that yet. And by the time this video posts, all of the items that are auctioned that do not sell will probably be on Buy It Now or Best Offer. So these are 925 sil Silver Charms, and I have these each listed individually. And one of them is a quantity two. So I think it's the S here. I have two of those. This um, pillowcase is awesome. I could not find any others like it. I could not find um, any that were the same shape. So I feel like that may take the right buyer, but I'm going to start that auction at $49.99. These alarm clocks, I didn't feel like testing them. I didn't feel like messing with them. So I'm just starting the auction at $14.99. If I get a bid, great. If I don't, I will do a buy it now or best offer. So these are all the things that were in my box. 44 items, you guys. 44 items. There's the mood ring. And one of those is a quantity two also. And I'm going to keep going here. We're getting close to the end. I know it's a lot. It was a big, it was a full box. That's for sure. So this broom, um, 
this little Art Deco. It's like a broom brush. I actually saw a sold, I think it went for like $60, but some of them were selling for like 15 or 20. So me, I always price high and put best offer. So I'm starting mine at 40 or best offer. The sunglasses I have up for auction. And this is my favorite piece and part of the reason I bought the box. I did find another one on eBay, which is really crazy because I thought it was going to be like one of a kind. But I have got this listed for $68 plus shipping. Now the other person has theirs listed for less so they can go ahead and sell theirs and then mine will be the one that's left. And that was the very first item out of the box that I listed. And my total numbers, okay, so if I add up every auction price, that comes to $310. If I add up all of the buy it nows, it comes to $638. But right now I have a 20% off sale going on. So that break takes off $127.60, which brings me down to $510. So if I take the $310 and I add the $510, that's a potential um, selling point, selling price of $820. Now, I do have best offer on my items. So, you know, there is some negotiating room, but... Let's just say, and also I don't always run a 20% sale. Sometimes I do 12%, sometimes I do 15%, 18%. So it does fluctuate. 20% is usually my max. And for numbers, I went ahead and went with 20%. So you guys can see, you know, if I'm running a one of my better sales. So um, plus the auction style items add up to 310. I will increase prices more than likely on most of the items when I relist them at buy it now. So if that gives you guys an idea of how I did on this box, I think I did really, really well on this box. Now 44 listings is a lot and there is a lot of bread and butter, but um, overall I am super, super happy with this. Again, I bid on this lot. I knew exactly what I was getting. I watched her go through the items on her channel. So um, it wasn't like a mystery box. I knew what I was getting. So I purchased this full on knowing what was coming. Now, did I think when I went through the box the first time that I was going to have such a high total? My answer to that would be no. <laughs> um, so I was pleasantly surprised when those numbers added up to be over $800. Um, I do typically accept best offers. So, I mean, let's say $820, you know, you take another 10% off that, that'd be $80 off of that. So, gosh, I'm trying to do math in my head. I'm not good at that. So that would still be what, over $700? So still fantastic. By the time you take fees out and you account for what I have in the um, box, I'm still going to make a really nice profit on this box. So definitely go check out Donatella Bottolino's auctions and her YouTube channel. She does buy it now um, videos where she'll offer something up in a YouTube video. And then the first person to write sold in the comments will get it. That's always a lot of fun. Um, so I think they have like $10 Tuesday where they start the, um, they'll have $10 items or they'll start the auctions at $10 and then $5 days and they just have all kinds of things that they do. And when I say they, um, she does this with T, who is auctions for you. And I'll try to remember to um, write it so you guys can see it. And their links are always in the descriptions of all of my videos. So definitely, definitely um, go down there and check it out. And also be sure to subscribe to Moon... Ah, I can't talk. Also be sure to subscribe to Moonstone Mamas. She is a wealth of knowledge. She has an awesome channel also. And her input in this video was really appreciated. So definitely check her out. Also, thanks for being here and thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.